my other one, uh, Blake, and I don't know if you had came away with the same impression. And I'm not, I'm not meaning to go after Zach Arnett here, but I, I've been kind of debating Auburn, Mississippi State, which team do I like better? I, I, I probably got them batting with that out for the last spot. Now, look, people have have dogged us a little bit for picking Mississippi State last. And I will just say this. Look, I, I think every team in the West might be a top 30 team nationally. Somebody's got to finish in that spot. And so you look for stuff. And it was clear to me, one thing that crystallized as I watched Zach Garnett and Hugh Freeze speak, it was clear to me that one of them had been a head coach and one of them had not. And that, that was a thing that sort of, as I'm trying to go, because I've gone back and forth on those teams over the last few weeks. Again, that was sort of a tiebreaker of a win in doubt. So to answer your question, Blaine, those were two things that maybe nudged how I thought about some teams that I saw at media days. Chris, I'm going to push back a little bit on the Mississippi State thing because they're the one team that I came out feeling better than I felt going into it because of how I heard Will Rogers talk about this offense and what he's going to do because he said he said in interviews that, listen, in the air raid, I saw drop eight all the time. He said the windows were about this big. He said I, I was constantly having to fit stuff in. He said now – with the with the 11 and 12 personnel and ha them having to bring guys down into the box more. He said, I'm going to have bigger windows and we're going to take more shots. They didn't throw the ball down the field because there was always three, sometimes four safeties, you know, deep. I mean, it was it was uh, straight across the board, deep corners, deep safeties uh, back there. And he was having to find the underneath stuff. I think you're going to get to see uh, – I think you're going to get to see Mississippi State who – Yes, they lost Ra Ra Thomas to to Georgia, um, but they still have talent there. Jalen Jaden Wally is there. Lededrick Griffin, who is quick as a hiccup, man. I mean, he can go in a hurry and is a deadly in the return game. He's there. Justin Robinson, big body guy. They got Rufus Harvey coming back. So there's there's some talent there at receiver, and then they're adding those that, that tight end element. I think Juquavius Marks is a really good player. Um, I'm not sure about the offensive offensive line there, but what impressed me was how Zach Arnett talked about, hey, you know, it helps when you've got two guys that had over 100 tackles at linebacker coming back in, in Jet Johnson and, and Nate Watson. So I think, I think that's a team that I feel slightly better than. I'm not saying that it's going to reflect necessarily in the record even, but I just feel I was, I was coming into this portion of the season feeling like, wow, Mississippi State's in trouble, but then go to feeling like, okay, because I thought it would be such a huge adjustment from air raid to pro style, but to hear Will Rogers, the guy who's pulling the trigger, say, "I have more space to throw the football now," that change that just changed something for me with hearing how he thinks a little bit about that. He also had an excitement in his voice for the play action. He said, "Give me that play action, man! Running more play, give give it to me." So yeah, he was excited. That's for sure. Yeah, and I didn't get to hear that conversation. I was actually when I think. I don't know if Blake was the one. Hey, Chris, we, you know what? Kinda, you know what? What? You, you can watch that conversation on the I, I YouTube channel, um, courtesy of Southeastern 14. There you go. Right. With, and with all the uh, the abundant free time we had this week, I say that sarcastically. Right, not yet. I was actually across the room right now, talking to his chief underneath one. target. We got a super well, chat. And, and, and look, the, the defense of Mississippi State, I think, starts with that, like, Okay, they've changed offenses, but Will Rogers has played a ton of football. Smart kid. Having a veteran presence at quarterback like that is always a plus. And then the line – look, I mean, Johnson and Wheat were probably two of the top four tacklers in the league a year ago. That That's a big plus too. But, again, we're sometimes we're looking for reasons. Uh, maybe that was a reason of convenience when you've got a bunch of teams close. But um, 